quick shot of some of the items I'll be using tonight to make um, my low budget um, tzatziki meal that I normally get when I go to tzatzikis and spend like $15 on this one meal that I really like. And it's really cheap once you buy the ingredients um, to make, you know, at your house. So I have my unthawed tilapia. Before anybody say anything, I know everybody has their own opinion about tilapia. I personally happen to like tilapia, um, so that's that. So there's my tilapia, it's, it's unthawed. Um, I have my rice here. Uh, lemon juice for the rice because tzatziki, they have like a, I guess it's a Greek style or Mediterranean style rice and it has lemon, um, lemon juice in it. Um, they may use freshly squeezed lemon, but I just use the, um, pure organic lemon juice that I just got from Walmart. Um, garlic for the string beans, frozen string beans, vegan butter, and then the different spices that I'll be using um, for the rice, the fish, and the green beans. So our three main dishes is just gonna be our pan-fried tilapia, um, our, our steamed rice, and then sauteed green beans. Um, I, I'm normally like, I like my green beans to be fully cooked, unseasoned, and you know, kind of how my grandma used to make when I was little um but for whatever reason I got these a while back and I've been like obsessed with making these string green beans like I just saute them in the pan it literally takes five minutes so that's that I also forgot to mention um you'll need some type of oil to um cook your salt or cook your green beans and your pan fried tilapia I just happen to have grapeseed oil Honestly, like I'm not a chef, so I don't know what's the best oil to cook with. But um, I bought this from Aldi maybe a couple weeks ago, and I still have a lot of it on hand. So, yeah, it actually says grapeseed oil, perfect for stir frying, deep frying, sauteing, and baking. So, we're doing sauteing today, so this should be good to use. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you have some oil to uh, saute your green beans and then pan fry your fish. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the rice um, because the rice usually takes takes the longest, I think, if I put it in my um, rice cooker, that's hot. I just realized that's hot. I already have it on, it's already warming up. But um, if I put it in my rice cooker, I think it takes about 25 minutes for like white rice to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put my rice in there Kind of let it get started and then we'll go ahead and i guess prep the other stuff um normally this takes me a good like 10 15 minutes tops to make once i get the rice going um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now i do not measure anything i eyeball everything um maybe i'll like put the actual measurements um in the description box below depending on how i'm feeling but yeah so i'm just gonna eyeball it so this little um, cup actually came with the rice cooker um, to measure. So I usually just fill it up to the top and then just pour it in there. If I use just one, I think the rice usually lasts me for a good um, two days, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. already warm so I'm gonna go ahead and do this real fast and pour the water in once I put these in now I know some people they usually like rinse off the rice to get um, like all the starch and stuff I don't have time I have like two or three jobs so I get it how I live so I'm just gonna dump this right on in there it still tastes good and it's still bomb pour 
enough water to where like all of the rice is saturated with the water inside again i don't i just eyeball it i mean i've been cooking for a long time so i kind of i can tell you know what's good and what's not good and once it starts to cook like i will have to add some more liquid into it but i'd rather add more liquid than it be too liquidy so i think that's gonna be good so i'm gonna close that I don't even know how to work on rice. But yeah, so it's starting. So that's going to cook. I'm telling you, like, this thing really cooks it really, really fast. I got it years and years ago from Target. I think it was on clearance for, like, $20. But, um, but yeah, so I love using this thing. I think you can use it to, like, steam vegetables. You can, like, steam fish. Like, all that healthy stuff. I just use it for the rice. <laughs> so, yeah, so... I'm gonna let, actually let this simmer, and then once I see that it's almost about done, then we can get started on um, doing the fish. Um, I'll do the fish, and then I'll saute, salt, saute? I will saute the green beans. I mean, there's really no order when it comes to doing this. Sometimes I do the green beans first, and then sometimes I do the fish um, first. Um, normally the fish does take a little bit longer to cook, then the green beans so sometimes i will go ahead and i'll cook the fish um first and then i'll go ahead and do the green beans but if you're like me and if you hate doing dishes i would cook the green beans first and then i'll use the oil from the green beans that i use and i'll also use it for the fish as well so we may just do that on this go around so yeah i'm gonna let this cook uh, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to let it get all steamy and stuff like that. And so I'm going to let that do its job. And then we'll come back and then we'll get started on the green beans. And then just... Uh, all right. So the time just started to count down. That is actually in minutes. Um, so this is when I start to add my uh my ingredients in to make it taste somewhat similar um to the rice that they um carry at tzatziki's so <laughs> one day i was like you know what i really want some tzatziki rice but i did not feel like driving all the way down to tzatziki's just to get the rice so i actually went on pinterest and i found a similar recipe um, to try to mimic how the rice tastes. And so what I found out is that they use lemon juice, um, butter, and then parsley flakes, and then also um, black pepper, which I have it over here because I'm about to go ahead and get started on the um, green beans. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on my stove. I'll put it like on low heat. So I'm gonna let that heat up and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and add some oil real quick. Again, just eyeball it, girl. Just just eyeball it. So I'll do that and I'll let that heat up. And I lost uh top no there it goes. Okay. So I'm gonna let that heat up real quick. I'll probably turn down this a little bit because this may take me a minute to get the rice going. So let me grab the black pepper. And oh, and I forgot the salt as well because it also has salt in it. So yeah, so I'm gonna add this stuff real quick. All right, so I got my ingredients. Need to get something to get the butter out. Again, I can't stress enough, <laughs> I eyeball every single thing. So I don't know the exact measurements. Um, I may put the link in from Pinterest where I found the recipe to make this um, rice, but I don't know. So I only got like a little bit left in there, but I have another container in the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna kind of take half of that and dump it. 
it in. this in. I'll probably add just a little bit more butter. And then I'm going to add some pepper. And I just basically like just kind of coat the surface of it. Again, eyeballing everything. I'm not a real chef. I got this from like Home Goods or somebody. I don't know. And I, you can do this to taste. Um, I kind of like mine just a tad bit salty. So I'll add some in there. That should be good. And then I'm going to do the parsley flakes. Parsley flakes. And again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to cut the whole thing off. And I just put the parsley. Alright, so we got the parsley flakes, and then like the main ingredient. This rice um, to me is the lemon juice. So I'm gonna pour the rest of this in. I think I will probably use all of this. There's just a little bit left in there. I don't know, that may be like a tablespoon that's left. I like a lot of lemon. So I'm gonna pour the whole thing in there. It actually gives it a really good smell too when you add the lemon to the rice. Okay, so I think this is good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter and then I'm gonna let it sit and finish cooking. So now we're going to move on to the green beans and then pan fry the fish. All right, so we're gonna get started on the green beans. And again, I just eyeball it. Just pour some in the pan. That looks good. All right, so here are the green beans. They are sizzling. They all get coated with the oil. Okay. All right, so I am, oh, that's my rice. I think it's done. So I'm just gonna let this sit here uh, and just keep warm. Now this is very bad lighting, but you'll see a better once I put it on a plate. So we'll let this sit here. All right, back to the green beans. So I am going to um, add the seasonings. So again, we got the salt, pink salt. 
onion powder because I hate real onions. So onion powder is all I use if I want like an oniony taste. Of course, our black pepper, garlic powder, even though I'm using municipal garlic, but I like garlic stuff. And um, well, the smoked paprika is mostly for the fish, so I won't use this. So all of these things we're going to use to saute um, the green beans. That's better lighting. Yeah, very better lighting. So yeah, I'm going to add this real quick. tilapia which I have here and yes my hands are clean and I'm also the only one that's gonna eat this so even if they were dirty it's no problem <laughs> but make sure your hands are clean when you cook food especially handling with um, meat and fish and stuff like that so I'm actually gonna add a little bit more oil so the fish won't stick to the pan the smoke paprika only to the fish not the green beans and then the others All right, so this is how it looks. The green beans are looking good. I kind of want them to cook this a little bit longer. So I'm going to keep them there. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and flip over the tilapia. I've added all the seasoning to it, and I'll probably add some more seasoning on the bottom of it as well because we season everything in this house. We don't do bland at all. Season for the gods. Alright, maybe that's a better angle, so I'm going to attempt to flip over this fish. Not bad. So, okay. There we go. So, 
So I think my green beans are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off here and go ahead and plate them. Now keep in mind, normally when I order this from Tzatziki's, obviously they don't have the green beans. I normally get the um, roasted potatoes along with rice, you know, double carbs. I don't really like the Mediterranean um, salad that they normally give with that. So, um, but I decided this to be a little bit healthier and just do green beans instead of having two starches or two carbs. So there are my green beans. And then now, I'm gonna move some of this garlic around the fish. So I can get all of the seasoning. I'm telling y'all, I've mastered this little dish. Because I don't know, I crave it so much. Like, I crave pan fried fish, rice, and green beans all the time. I don't know, I'm weird. So, and this doesn't even take that long to pan fry, but I like my meat cooked. So, I'm going to let it just sit here and cook for a minute and while I was doing it I'm just gonna put up some of my stuff because nobody likes to have to clean a dirty kitchen after they've been cooking and working all day so I'm gonna go ahead and put up all of my seasoning and spice except for my salt I'm gonna add that later and I'll probably add with a little bit more oil I'm actually gonna plate the rice and then I'm gonna go ahead and plate the fish. She's done. And have my rice. I'm gonna flip her over. Ooh. Ooh, y'all, this looks amazing. Y'all, this looks bomb. Oh my goodness. It came out so good. Well, it always come out good, but look at that crustiness on that fish. That's mostly the um, the garlic and then all, like, all the spices and stuff like that. I promise you it's not burnt, but this is my budget-friendly um, tzatziki grilled tilapia feast that I normally get from tzatziki. Like I said, I normally spend about 14, 14 and between 14 and $16 um, when I go there to order this. And I literally just made this dish at home for literally under like three dollars when you like break down and do like all the math so yeah i'm about to put this camera down and i'm about to eat so i hope y'all enjoyed this um video 
this is like my first time doing like a cook with me video so i hope you all liked it hope i didn't go too fast or um you know i didn't stumble on any words but i will try to link everything below in, in the description box on what i did and what i used um so yeah so i hope y'all have a good night and if you decide to make this let me know send me a picture i want to see how yours turned out y'all mm, 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 mm. the food was good can't you tell <laughs> like i cleared this plate y'all i literally love like eating pan fried fish rice and green beans like i could really eat that all day every day but anywho, I will probably finish up editing the video of me cooking um, the the meal and stuff like that. Um, it's really late right now. I think it's like is it 10 o'clock. What is that? Yeah, 10, 16. So it's kind of late. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to edit it tonight and relax. And then tomorrow I will upload the video. Not sure what time I will upload it, but it'll be sometime tomorrow afternoon, I would assume. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just sitting here with my fall candle because I'm a basic chick. <laughs> I, can we focus? I purchased this candle from Joann's the other day. I rarely go in there, but I went in there because I was looking for a new planner. Um, one of my sorority sisters, she was in there and they had some good ones and I did not find any good planners, but I did find this really good candle and it smells like fall. It smells like somebody's baking some type of like apple pie or something. And then of course, gotta have my drink. Mm, yes. <laughs>